A capful of the aerometer solution has been mixed with de-aired water to make field solution. Unscrew the top of the aerometer reservoir and fill the instrument with this solution. Since the reservoir is wider than the body tube, the water will bridge over and the surface tension must be broken to let it flow down into the instrument's body tube. This can easily be done by gently slapping your palm against the open top of the aerometer until the water level reaches the reservoir. Now the aerometer is ready to be inserted into the prepared hole. The cap is screwed in place until the stopper just touches the bottom of the reservoir. Then a half turn more will snug it in place to make a good seal. Firmly push the aerometer until it seats into the bottom of the hole. Mound and compact a little soil at the surface so that water doesn't puddle there. This keeps water from running down the tube and giving a false reading. The sensor should only see the water that percolates down through the undisturbed soil. Be sure there is adequate space so that the gauge does not touch the ground surface. Now air must be removed from the tube. Remove the cap and place the suction cup end of the service pump over the open reservoir. While holding the pump firmly in place, draw up on the pump handle several times to pull a vacuum. You will see several large bubbles escape from the gauge. It is important to get this air out of the system so it doesn't affect the vacuum created by soil water tension that the instrument is designed to measure. Tapping the gauge can help to dislodge trapped air. Bend the finger valve to release the vacuum slowly, allowing the pump to be removed. When finished, the cap is replaced, again tightened to only a half turn past the stopper touching bottom. As the site is monitored, readings should be recorded and graphed on the chart paper.